Okay, so I've set up a crazy little display here. This was someone worried about if they mounted their flash in a bracket, um, would it, was it better to clamp the flash down around this part of the flash? Or is it uh, because they were worried about breaking the, um, where the flash and the bracket meet? They're all metal. You're not gonna break this. You can clamp down this as much as you want and you don't have the ability to make it fail with any of these flash brackets. Um, unless you involve something like a pair of pliers and going at it that way. Where it fails is down here where we have the uh, transmitter. The transmitters sometimes are bad quality or not considerate quality, not considering what they're doing. And this part can crush in. If you make sure, if you um, installing it and you're not seating it properly into this clamp, that's where you can crush one of these guys right here and cause issue. Um, that's, uh, this one has a uh, metal, the, uh, the, the transmitter part of this, um, it's a transceiver, um, is metal. This guy is plastic with this nasty um, vent or, or spacing. And then we have some cheaper guys over here that, um, again, are plastic. And you can see that this plastic uh, can become quite brittle and break. Sorry for the uh, focus. Quite brittle and break. Um, but you have other options to still mount the flash and then just use a PC uh, sync cord with it um, if you don't trust this to hold up. These are very cheap transmitters. Um, not even worth... Uh, I have another video that went into it. Now you can see where it holds the flash though, the transmitter all of a sudden, or trigger gets uh, quite hefty, it's back to metal. But they went with plastic down here. Um, Alright, so those are those guys. And then we have the failure from these guys. And here's another one, but we only have one failure at all of this. One failure here, and this was just, just me dropping or whatever I did. This was through neglect. Um, or maybe it was a fracture in the plastic, it doesn't matter. But here are 600 EXRTs, and the build quality is all metal on it. This is a young new, young new, no, this is the Shanty. The Shanty is more in line with the uh, 600 EXRTs and in, in, um, in its design on the foot. Um, this is a uh, young new, young new. However you want to say it. These guys are all the all the 600s. Ready to ready to kick butt. Um, yeah, that's nice. Now, going back to the, the brackets. You've got these long brackets. I think the dumbest thing I've ever done was buy this little bigger bracket. Um, this will not clamp um, evenly throughout the entire bracket. Of course, in the middle it will clamp more. That's where it lines in with the screw. But down here, it can get a uh, cockeyed. So, um, yeah, this was a bad decision on my part. And I think I've got three of these guys. The single one with the uh, umbrella bracket, umbrella um, slot, and you crank it down there. It's much, much better. And it's all metal. All right, let me just show you real quickly this thing installed. Okay, so what I've done is I put a shanty in here because, you know, Ken is not paying me to do anything. Now there's shanty, but um, people really don't have the budget for those my other equipment. So I'm relating with you guys with with a shanty product. The brackets in. This is the weather stripping. The screw is snug. I'm going to pick up the entire stand with it only connected via the bracket. As you can see, that's just the diffuser on there. And I'll do one better for you in a moment. Okay, I'm going to wrap this video up real quick. But here's a 24-inch beauty dish. Um, I've got to be careful. I've got it on a terrible stand for this display. All right, I'm going to lift the whole beauty dish up with, with uh, just holding it by the flash. Let me put that back down before I literally tear my flash apart trying to just showing you guys that. Um, so that was the shanty on there. Shanty. 
So that's the, uh, again, that's the shanty. And now we've got 600 EXRTs. We've got one, two, three. So we've got $1,800 in speed lights on this. And I've got no problem trusting, trusting the brackets. Um, now we move on to um, spot a grid light. And you can see it's set up. I'm not connecting it any other way. This is the YN 560. Young new, young new, young newo, however you want to say it. I don't care. They don't pay me to pronounce their name. All right. So there you go again. It's nice and seated. Packing one more time to a little bit of a beauty dish, little 10 inch or 9 inch, whatever it is, I don't recall just yet. Um, again, now, this is what I wanted to show you. See how it's not quite seated? It's still metal, so it's still going to be a good grab one. I'm sorry, it came out the, <laughs> it came out the stand. But that's just to show you that um, even a little pinch will do you. And I wanted to show you on that. Um, and I choose my 600 XRT on that. So you can see I've got pretty much confidence in these brackets. So don't worry about the brackets. Um, just find yourself a nice grid. What beauty dish. Um, small, large. And enjoy your photography. Enjoy it. Um, this is just a Bowens adapter. A Bowens mount. And this goes right onto the uh, bracket. And you mount any speed light you want in this. Any speed light. Any off-brand. Doesn't matter. 